Building an effective security program is no small feat, especially given the constantly changing threats, regulatory changes, and business requirements. While the finer points of a security program are often tailored according to the needs of a team and organization, there are four key features that every security program has to have. Today, we're going over these four key features for building an effective security program. The first step is to establish a benchmark. In other words, evaluate the current state of your security program to understand the starting point. This is often done by analyzing any existing security program documentation. This can include your charter, policies, and processes and procedures. Before you can start making any changes to your security program or making a plan, you need to know what you're working with. The second step is to measure your program for any risks, vulnerabilities, and gaps in compliance with your program framework. Measurement should occur across the entire organization at every level and in every department. You and your team should have an idea of what your ideal cybersecurity state should be, such as compliance with a specific framework or set of best practices, or building out any missing processes needed to do business with specific vendors. Once your security program has been established and operating for a while, regular measurement activities should continue. This will ensure that documentation stays updated, policies are aligned with organizational goals, and policies and processes are optimized for the existing team and resources. As these measurement activities are conducted, findings should be collected into a dashboard to make it easier to communicate with other members of the organization about security, which leads us into our next step. Your security program should have communication channels such as regular meetings with stakeholders, decision makers, dashboards, and presentations. The goal is to make it easier to understand what's happening in security and how it impacts other areas of the organization. This can range from identifying potential risks with an existing vendor to finding vulnerabilities within your own network. Making informed decisions is all about being able to tell the cybersecurity story and providing the context for any findings and issues so the organization is aware of what's coming. This is the opportunity to lay out any risks, possible actions to take, and the impact that these actions will have on the organization. Once a decision has been made about how to tackle certain issues, an effective security program should be able to execute on those decisions. This could mean creating and carrying out a plan for a security project to address multiple critical findings, starting the process of finding and engaging an outsourced cybersecurity provider, or even doing nothing. From there, the four steps should continue in a cycle. After executing a project, the results should be measured, communicated, and used to determine the next step forward.